Yes. Go anywhere and text. Oh, English. English. No. Really? We've been doing sign languages in most of these countries. You need, you need to see Noya. The first thing she says to someone is English. And then the person will <laughs> be like, yeah, mm. English. She never was like, so you people don't. <laughs> Noya, the mother. You go, eh. YouTube our content creator. This one is a mom. Mom vibes to the max. You're protecting the market, man. We're not spending out a budget. You get it. We're shaking our butts on a budget, man. <laughs> on a budget. Carry your fucking Gary, my guy. There's no Gary in Africa. There's no Gary, guys. I swear, yeah. only in Nigeria that there's Gary. I'm nice in the room. Hey guys, what's good? You're welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairichi. If this is your first time of being on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell close to you so you'll be getting more of my videos. Today, I'm going to be having a guest who is my travel buddy, of course. I'm sure you've definitely seen her in my other videos of late. She's going to be here with me because we're going to talk about travel mistakes you should avoid while traveling. I feel like this traveling thing is a good thing because, I mean, we experience it and then we bring it up to you so that if you're trying to travel or if you want to travel, I mean, you can have these, you know, ideas and, you know, updates not to do the same thing we did. Most of these are from experience while most of it is in, but I'm very sure it's going to be helpful for you. So without much ado, let's get right into this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let's get this channel going. Share the videos if it's uh, important and interesting to you so that other people can learn as well. So yeah, let us invite our one and only travel buddy who is taking forever to come join me because what is all this pace for? Words, words. Hi guys, I am I'm just a travel buddy. Can I just be the travel buddy throughout this trip? Hi guys, my name is Iris Akanem and I and Noya will be taking you through our travel mistakes. Guns our head. So yeah. we have lots of travel mistakes. You know, we are traveling to other countries, especially if you haven't been there before. So the first one is projected uh, budgets for the trip. Uh, not having a projected budget, you need to plan every single dollar or naira or whatever currency you're planning. You have to plan it down to the T. You need to say this is the budget for this because if you're going to step out without a budget, you're going to overspend. And I think uh, it, it's a little bit of a, um, a mistake on our part. Not 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 that it's a mistake, but we planned so we went to we are going to three countries, yeah. right? Uh, Rwanda, Uganda, and Kenya. I'm sure by the time this video is out, we'll have gone to all those three countries. So we actually have a list of budget. Let's say we are spending like 300k naira in this country, 400k naira. So that's actually the only thing we did, right? And then we just budgeted like a flat, say 1.5 million for the three countries. Yeah. But coming here, um, we haven't really run out of money, but I feel like that's a very good thing that you need to do. If you're traveling, make sure I'm spending 400,000 naira in this country and make sure not to exceed and or, you know. I just want to add that Naya has been doing a fantastic job keeping us on track. Everywhere I go, I call her the Jesus of money because she's saving every single cent. Guys, we're not spending out a budget. You get it. We're shaking our butts on a budget. <laughs> on a budget. Because... If you say I'm spending 400k in X country, you should be able to spend within that range. Don't go off because if you go off, you're gonna get stranded. I yeah. tell you. So another thing, I feel like what makes it worse is that you need to understand the currency of the country you're operating. In. Now knowing the currency of the country, their their rate, right? Yeah. Their rate, uh, in terms of you know comparing it to dollars, that would help you to know how to you know um, get down your budget before leaving for a country if you're going to travel to these countries depending on how long you want to stay at this country please carry your food stuff man i tell you There's guys no shame in it. if it's on a budget if you're not going to be staying in a hotel yeah if it's on a budget carry your fucking gary my guy there's no gary in africa <laughs> there's no gary guys i swear yeah. only in nigeria that there's gary like we went to the market asking for gary these niggas gave us floor and <laughs> they were like it's, it's gary bro we've been eating gary our entire lives we I know swear. what it looks like it's not gary like before we eat we have there was to like no turn. crayfish either there's no crayfish I was in bafflement. I there's was, no, there's no soup, only okra. I stayed shook throughout the entire trip. I just, I just stood behind Noya. And Noya was like, <laughs> Noya was like, so you people don't. Noya, the mother, you go, eh? YouTube our content creator. This one is a mom. Mom vibes to be max. You're protecting the market, man. Guys, I just stood beside her as she priced it down. She's like. One kilo for for what? Why, why am I spending that much on it? Next thing, they've cut down the price. <laughs> We've made friends. Oh goodness! It's been we actually, saved our money. <laughs> we saved our freaking money, money, Jesus. <laughs> we saved our I money. I tell you guys, so like it, I think it's 
I'm regretting because if I travel, my mom was like, Do you need any food stuffs? I'm like, No, 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 we're gonna be good. I mean, it's a good why thing did to you travel. Say, why I, it's, I'm regretting till now. It's a good thing to travel and try out their food because it's part of our trip. Yeah. Try out the food you eat, um, they have there. But, oh my goodness, you're not going to be eating their food every single day. Sometimes you might want to eat your food. And since we came to these countries, we literally have been cooking. Yeah. And we've been eating only okra soup because they don't, they don't even have our leaf. They don't have oh vegetable. God. They don't have, have um, what is that? They don't have anything that we, we know, right? You know what? I, I feel like this is part of like, you know, culture shocks. I, I did not expect that vegetable leaf would be so uncommon. I I tell maybe you, they, I, even I, Gary, shouldn't Gary be I, around? I like maybe this is the complex of being Nigerians where we feel like because we drink Gary, everybody in Africa is well, drinking it. There's no Gary here, guys. It's our bad. So we'll carry, carry your food stores. If you're staying in an apartment or Airbnb like yeah. we are, if you're staying in a hotel, definitely you're Shop okay. Life. You're obviously rich. Send us money. <laughs> watch the ads. Subscribe to this channel. Like it so we can make some dollars to stay in a hotel. But we still like we still like Airbnb. I mean, we like Airbnb. What do we do? We go to like, a hotel and then there's no food you Where will we be eating? We go to someone's house and not like coming to your house. If these people subscribe to your channel, we'll have enough dollars to stay in the hotel and pay for hotel food. What do you think, guys? The hotel food that's still their food. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The next point we have ah, is um so you need to consider the best method of payment in, in that country. country you can't go there and be like yo i'll carry cash what if you run out of money you need to and carrying cash isn't always safe you need to think to yourself what what, what are the options the payment options available to the countrymen in this country that we've gone through so far they, they use have our mobile money mobile money momo uh we can't, they, yeah you can't even use your our naira doesn't work here like some countries when i went to um togo and um Benin republic we could we could use your naira to exchange for their currency but here you're bringing dollars straight from nigeria they don't want dollars your they don't want your naira. they don't know what that is so you have your dollars that is in cash as she said most yeah. times most times you just don't carry enough cash at hand just in case maybe your boss is missing on the the other airport or whatever whatever just to be on the safe side have some cash but know the mode of payment so yeah. like now we have to get a dollar card domiciliary card is important guys um mastercard if you're traveling to another country make sure you have a domiciliary card because that's dollar you can use it for payment yeah. and all of that stuff yeah and for those that are so, into crypto please so, so um like my friend has so if you're traveling to another country and um please explain you don't want that no crypto first of all i have you know that crypto is not legal in a lot of countries but so if you have crypto you can be able to do like the p2p trading and you can get them to send the equivalent of that money to your momo account your mobile money account which is basically your phone number your phone number is an account if you register with like mtn so how do we do that momo thing so when it comes to a country yeah. you get a sim card mtn i heard works for the momo then that number the number of your you know your line is your momo yeah. so someone that is into crypto can do peer-to-peer -peer, yeah then send transfer the, uh, the transfer money. it yeah so they can send the money to your Momo account and, and you can use it to operate in this country yeah, i hope yeah, that yeah. it's uh, uh quite explainable next one we have is book an accommodation before you set out that is something that i've said in my other video if you're coming to a country um for the first time don't just say you're going to come here and find a way book an accommodation before you leave because we had an issue with that while we we're coming to uganda because i mean we didn't have time to book an accommodation and when we got here we literally driven from street to street street to street while i was trying to find a foundation near me in the airbnb app which thankfully we found but what if you don't find you're gonna sleep on the streets so make sure you have an accommodation before you get here that's so travel mistakes that you need to avoid the next one we have is um okay so um usually for these countries it would be really nice if you have like a host or someone who was going to show you around or mm. someone trustworthy who was going to pick you up from the bus station or from the airport to your accommodation safely but that's also aside because most people don't really have anybody most times yeah. you travel to a country you don't know anybody there most of us we do that but if you don't have anybody it's still it's, it's okay um come to this place that is if you're strong enough to travel to a country you don't know anybody be rest assured that you're going to go through so many things for you to get settled so definitely you can get here get a taxi where everybody's getting a taxi and find your way and, oh but if you God. have a if you have a tour guide good as well language is such a big issue man. oh goodness you need to know you speak, the language you speak you goodness don't go anywhere and like, oh english, english. no
they would look at you and then they'll increase the money higher higher i swear like, like we've been doing sign languages in most of these countries you need, you need to see no the first thing she says to someone is english and then the person will <laughs> be like yeah mm. english oh okay. no <laughs> the person says, ah, just go up and then we're like ah english yeah, english so most of these countries they don't speak english most of them speak french they know how to speak french but it's okay to be honest because you're going to find your way like when i was in togo you can use your translator there they can't even speak english at all well through this sign language and using translator that was um, way bad but find out the country the language they speak in that country then find your way around it okay it's important that you at least know yeah so you don't come there and you're surprised that the official language is in english money this is money with travel mistakes travel mistakes yeah. uh what's the next one we have not making friends it's not good guy that is one thing about traveling what about the introverts you have to, that's the introverts do they travel wow mm -hmm. there's so much misconception <laughs> okay go on you have to make good friends in a country you travel to because guess what you're going to need them again i tell you so it's 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 a plus right but i mean it's good to make friends in a country you go to it's one of the reasons why we travel right so what is written on your own and then the next important one is okay i think we're almost done with this video but the last one i know i have is roam your numbers before you leave oh my god that gave you so much problem. oh my goodness <laughs> most people don't like to do that because they rather not pick up calls or find the way but if you're a content creator a youtuber or whatsoever you have to roam yeah this is for youtubers roam your number before you leave because if you get into a different country you cannot sign into your youtube because they're going to ask you because youtube has detected that you're not more in the place you're using your phone who's signing in from wherever this country so if you don't roam your number you can't get in so try and roam your number before you get into a country that is an added but it's a good travel um, mistake we should avoid is there any other thing I think practically we are okay. We've gotten it covered as we discover more mistakes. We're going to let you know. Oh, that's amazing. So, to be coming your way next time, and I hope you enjoyed this section. Eris and Naya. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We need that dollar so we can stay in a hotel <laughs> and live well. Oh my God. And do a up. hotel video as well. Tell you how it is. Yeah. And which is better. Sponsor us to go to the spa and get <laughs> facial in this country. Oh my god, don't add that last bit. People in the internet are weird. We're going, we're going to, we're done with this one. Wow. I'm not nice in the room.